Well, we had a scare last night, me and Marley. At 1.49, and the reason I know that is the minute I got up, I looked at my clock. 1.49, there was a knock on my door. A very, uh, not a, a type of a knock that a police officer would make, but a much lighter knock. And of course, I keep a light on all night long because it's too dangerous when I get up and down to trip on something to not see in the dark. So I always keep a light on. I always keep my phone right beside my bed. I, my, it's right there, right at hand. So I immediately look at the clock and uh, I say, who is it? I mean, it was instantaneous. No answer, another knock. And I said, who is it? And you better answer. <laughs> like I'm gonna do something. And I come to my window, Marley is going nuts. You can't talk over her, she's going nuts. So I go to one of my front windows uh, on the, facing the sidewalk and I take down my reflectix. And here's a young girl standing there. Now I've seen this girl before, but she was with a man. And she had on a black t-shirt and a black running suit with white stripes, two white stripes down each sleeve and on the legs. And she had worn this before. I had seen this and her boyfriend wore one too. She's by herself standing there. And I said, what do you want? I'm homeless. I said, at 2 a.m. you want to tell me you're homeless? Now I'm yelling because I'm trying to talk over Marley. Well, I need help. And I said, at 2 a.m. you need help? Why did you knock on my van? Well, I need to know where a shelter is. The shelters are closed. They close at 11, they open at eight. Why do you need that information at 2 a.m. in the morning? And she's getting real flustered and I'm thinking, this is what I thought, guys, when I was talking to her. Of course, I was yelling over Marley and uh, this is set up. They wanted to see if someone was in the van she wasn't prepared for someone to be in the van because I think they were going to try to steal the van. I couldn't see him anywhere, but um, after she, I just put my thing up and I said, I can't help you. Two o'clock in the morning, I can't help anybody. I'm not helping anybody. This is too dangerous. And I put my window reflex back up. And then I started the van. And uh, I sat there for a while, listening, looking. I didn't take the reflectors down, which I should have on the windows, to look in my back mirrors because she just disappeared. I think she got in the car. I heard her car take off. I also heard her truck. And an hour later, I'm hearing other noises. I never went back to bed. I finally fell back to sleep about six o'clock this morning. But I really think they were checking to see if someone was in this van so they could steal it. I'm telling you guys, they thought they could steal my van. Just thought I'd tell you what happens on the streets. Sometimes. Um, I really wasn't that scared because I had the keys to the van in my hand and um, I'm pretty solid in my van. You can't open up the back doors because they've got too much crap on it. You have to move it all off and it's all tied to the rack. The side doors, they could have knocked the windows out. That's about the only way to get in here. And they were testing. Just thought I'd tell you about my night. So I'm exhausted today, and I'm trying to film my garden. Thank you so much for the comments about the garden. I'm going to try some of them out. I'll let you know later on. You have a great day. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and please share. I'll see you next time, Camo.